Hi there, this is Aroboros or Oro. I'll be using Bryce for about 10 years, mainly in the modeling and animation arenas because the DTE itself fills me with fear. Anyway, I'd just like to talk to you about one very small concept and that is deleting animation keyframes. That's all we're going to talk about. Now Bryce has two little dirty secrets when it comes to animation and keyframes. The first is there is no spoon. I mean, there is no undo. There is no undo for keyframes. Once you've created a keyframe, the only way that you can delete it is by physically deleting it. You can't use Control Z or Command Z or Z to undo that creation of a keyframe. Now this flies in Bryce's normal convention. If you change a property or change a position of an item, yes, you can undo it. But if you created a keyframe in, the, in, in, in making that movement or making that uh, material change, that keyframe itself will not undo. You have to delete it. So let's take a look at deleting these keyframes. Here's a modified example sent in by Matt Hawkins. Uh, what I've got here is a fanciful missile silo. The lid is going to open, it's going to pivot, and it's going to take out. So here's the animation as it plays through. It's four seconds. Open, turn, pivot. So basically four keyframes, one at the start and then three rotations. If we take a look in the advanced motion lab and, and for a breakdown, here is our scene. All right, just two rotations in the hinge. We also have some keyframes set here right at the end here. These are set automatically by Bryce. You can get rid of these very easily. In fact, this leads on to a very nice way of using the AML for one simple and very important purpose, deleting sporadic keyframes. Hold your finger down on the shift key and click on the option or click on the property that you want to have deleted. In this case we'll have a look at the origin. Delete all keyframes. That is a super hot tip if you're just looking to delete keyframes for a property of a specific object. And when you get into very complex animations, um, learning this little tip of shift and clicking the property is a really good way of keeping the AML understandable, knowing what you're doing and where you're going. I'll just get rid of these as well, just to keep things all ni nice and tidy. And there we have it. We'll just collapse the hinge property back and we have one nice solid line. It doesn't look like we have three little keyframes in there, but they are there in the rotation. So that's one way of deleting keyframes. Another way of deleting keyframes is, of course, shuttling to a particular keyframe moment in your timeline, like say that one there, and then clicking the minus button. So now let's take a look at our, our operation now that that keyframe has been deleted. And go. So now we get a blending effect of this opening from one pivot to another as you'd expect. There is another super huge way to delete, to delete keyframes. We've just learned two, and this is the Uber method of getting rid of all your keyframes in an animation. We've already covered that zeroing the timeline won't work. If I was to get rid of this animation timeline, put the seconds down to zero, so we have no time Shuttling will actually still operate the animation. So let's go through. See, the, the keyframes just don't delete. There is no undo. There is no spoon. Time is forever. And if you get stuck on this moment where you think, oh no, I've, I've got no time, yet the animation is still happening, this is when you need to drop the bomb. And that is the super huge keyframe killer of holding Shift, and this is for PC, Shift, Control, Alt down and pressing minus, or if you're on a Mac, Shift, Option, Command, and then click the minus key. I haven't done it just yet. Now this is, again, the bomb. If you do this, take a look. All keyframes and all objects were deleted. It's not a OK cancel. It's not a are you sure? You've just done it. And again, keyframes. There is no undo. Once you've clicked OK, you can't click undo and get your keyframes back. They just don't exist.